Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. As you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a renovation of a house that was built by Jen or X Urban Sims here on YouTube. I I watched the speed build of this house and I have to say I just loved it. I rarely see anyone else use brick to do an exterior of a home and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you will know I love brick. <laughs> every single speed build I have done, or every single build I have done, pretty much, yeah, pretty much every single one has a brick exterior. I am a big, big fan. So, so Jen made this build called Little Red, and I just fell in love with it, and I had to use it for my current household. I just had to. So I moved my current household into the build little red and i renovated it and i decided to record it so i could put it on youtube so you guys could see the renovation if you wanted to so i decided to switch out the rooms well first of all there was a really really weird issue for me i don't know whether you guys will experience it too if you download little red where the living room wasn't a room like the front room you walk into when you uh, enter the build it was a separate room so you would have seen me drag that um room out so they joined together nicely and I decided to switch up the rooms this room here that I'm working on now is the kitchen it originally was a master bedroom but I switched it out a little bit and made it into a kitchen because it was bigger than the kitchen so I felt like it would be better as the kitchen area and it could still you could still exit the kitchen into the backyard so that's what I decided to do and I think it worked out pretty well I decided well, I didn't decide. I moved my current household in and my current household love, love, love colour. They love really colourful interior. So I did go a little bit crazy on the colour in this house, but it just suits them so well. And I hope you guys will embrace the colour. There is nothing neutral about this build. So if you're into your neutral colours, you're probably not going to like this build <laughs> because it is just colourful through and through. For the kitchen... I'm working on the kitchen right now and for the kitchen I went for a purple meets green theme because purple and green clash in such a beautiful way. So the walls are purple and there's a lot of green accents in the room. I have recently purchased cool kitchen stuff. <laughs> a little bit late to the party there but I have purchased it and I'm using quite a bit of cool kitchen in this particular kitchen because like I said I literally bought it the morning that I renovated this house so I wanted to use a whole bunch of the stuff I love I already knew that I loved the posters that come with cool kitchen because I've seen them on other people's channels so I used a bunch of those in this room I I just really liked how it turned out in the end it took me a few hours to do I watched um, the sim supply and deli play GTA I watched their stream. Deli's got the stream up on her channel, so I watched that while I uh, while I renovated this house, and it did take me quite a while, but I wanted to do it justice, and I really wanted to make sure that I didn't touch the exterior of the house. I did do a, a whole bunch of landscaping, but I didn't touch the exterior of the house because I wanted it to be like my current household have moved in, and they've decorated as you know to fit their style I didn't want it to be like they had completely changed the house I wanted to keep the shell of the home the same as it was because I loved it and it yeah I love it and I it, you know if I'd built this home myself I wouldn't have built it the way that Jen did so that's why it's so perfect for me because it's like it's like a family have moved in and have decorated to their liking I which I find really really cool I have recently purchased movie stuff pack whatever it's called movie hangout movie hangout stuff pack so I use a whole bunch of um furniture from the movie hangout I think it's a really really cool pack actually I like it a lot so I love that rug I love that rug so much it's so cool and I did use pretty much yeah all of the furniture in the living room is from movie hangout but that doesn't bother me because I think movie hangout is such a cool pack so yeah and I've got this sort of entrance way because I felt kind of odd the way that the house opened into the front room it's weird because my house that I live in 
at the moment in real life you enter there's no hallway you enter straight into the front room because it's a terrace house and was like that's fine but I don't know it didn't feel right in this film so I wanted there to be some kind of entrance hallway or entrance foyer something entrancey <laughs> something you walked into before you entered the home but I did keep it really really open plan there are walls dividing it but they've got these great big archways which really opens up the space it's a small home so I wanted to keep it as open as possible. The household that I've moved in, there's a mother and a father, a teenage boy, a chi a female child, and a little baby girl. So the house needs to be pretty open because there's a lot of sims in this small space, so it needs to be as open as possible, really. So I, like I said, as you can see, I used a whole bunch of movie hangout stuff, which is awesome, I love it. I didn't put a television in this home, I never do. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I never put televisions in The Sims homes, because if I do, all The Sims will do is watch television, and I don't want them to, and I don't find that my Sims need to watch television, so none of my builds have televisions in. But it's only a click of a button to add one, so if you download this renovation and want to add a television, you can do that, not a problem. So you can see how colourful this build is. I think it looks awesome. I really, really do like it. it. Again, it's not to my personal taste, I'm not going to lie. This amount of colour is not... My home is very neutral, my real home in real life. It's not my style and if I moved into this house I would change it up a lot <laughs> because all these bright colours are not really my personal taste but I love it. I, I love it so much because yeah it's different and it's bold and it's fun and it's just cool so yeah I did use a bit of custom content in this build nothing too drastic really Um, some wallpapers I think and that's it yeah custom wallpapers I didn't use anything else custom content I just feel like the wallpapers that come with The Sims 4 get, I've got a little bit old for me. I feel like I've seen, I've used them all so much that I'm sort of a little bit over it. So I have downloaded some custom content wallpapers from Praline or Praline Sims. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But yeah, they are in, all of the walls that are block colours are custom content and the wall in the master bedroom next to this bathroom where I'm working on now is custom content and they're really cool so yeah aside from that I don't think there's any custom content in this build at all but you will if you choose to download it you will need to enable custom content on your gallery in order to see the build so I'm on the ensuite bathroom now and I decided to go for a red theme as you can see I pretty much I wanted to keep with the colour I wanted to keep working with tons of colour so I decided to make that room red <laughs> master bedroom I love I would love this to be my bedroom it's so sleek it's got a oh I tell a lie it's got a custom content fireplace I said all the custom content was wallpaper but it's not because there's a custom content fireplace okay aside from wallpaper and fireplaces everything else is sims 4 <laughs> So yeah, I really love this room. Again, it's super colourful, but I just love it. I would love this to be my bedroom in real life. I think it's really, really cool. There's no wardrobe or anything like that, but your sims don't really need a wardrobe, strictly speaking. So yeah, and I'm really glad I decided to switch up those rooms because I did try and renovate this house a couple of times in the week and <sighs> renovating the kitchen was the first thing I did and it was just really tough like that room is a really odd shape for a kitchen so I'm really glad that I switched up those two rooms because it made the build so much easier for me to achieve so now I move on to upstairs and I go for this block orange wallpaper in the hallway or the landing upstairs and I add um, a fence or a um, railing I, the, the word escapes me right now but I, I add um, is it just a railing? I think it's a railing something. Whatever it is. I add that in because I don't want anyone to fall down the stairs. <laughs> Not that you can fall down the stairs in The Sims, but it just felt a little bit precarious to me. And then I thought, you know what? We've got such a giant space in this hallway. It's massive. I mean, look at it. It's like the size of a bedroom in itself. So I didn't want to, like I said at the beginning of this build, I didn't want to alter any of the 
the walls, the windows, the exterior, anything like that. So I decided to utilize the space as much as possible and add some had some activities in the landing so I've got a desk and a computer in there and I've got a foosball table as well and then I just decorate with some plants and pictures and posters and whatnot just so it is a big open space but it doesn't feel as open and there's stuff for your sims to do there I feel like that works better and I'm sure the family will love using this hallway space so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased, I'm pleased with that. And just to show how keen I was on Cool Kitchen, I had only just bought it. I have used some Cool Kitchen posters and some movie hangout posters in the hallway because it's new to me. So yeah, I love that plant from Movie Hangout. I'm gonna use that all the time. I think it's gorge. <laughs> I move on to master, not master bathroom. That's not a thing. And the main bathroom of the household. And I go for a blue theme because I thought bathroom downstairs is red themed. So let's make this bathroom blue. You could always get rid of one of the bathrooms to make more space if you needed it. Your Sims probably could cope with only one bathroom. I know most of my homes tend to have one bathroom, and I don't notice any major issues. I feel like when the game first came out my sims were waking up all the time wanting to go to the toilet but I think that's been fixed because it doesn't happen so much anymore so like I said I went for a blue theme so much color in this build I think it's cute as a button I think it's really awesome so yeah make that bathroom blue themed um, and I make sure that I put curtains on all the windows I just think it makes the build look a little bit more detailed um, so yeah, now I do the children's bedrooms. So I add a wardrobe when I get there in a second. Is it now? Yes, I add a wardrobe into that space. Jen says when she makes the or films the original build, that's perfect for a wardrobe. But she couldn't put one in because she was doing a starter home. So she was limited in terms of money. So she didn't put a wardrobe there but left the space if you wanted to add one. And I did. I thought it was... Yeah, it was just a perfect space. Like you could put a tiny bathroom there if you wanted, but I thought, no, I'll put a wardrobe there. And this is now John's bedroom. John is the teenage boy in the family, and I wanted to give him a double bed in case he had any lady friends over. But that just took up so much space in the room, and I just wasn't feeling this room at all. I tried to put curtains on, but the windows are so small it wouldn't even matter so much if there weren't curtains and then the bed took up the whole space and John is a teenager and he's a bit of a a bit of a nerdy teenager he likes um you know to he's a bit of a whiz kid if you like and he likes science and stuff and gaming so I wanted to give him more activities because I know that when I was a teenager I spent 99% of my time in my bedroom so I definitely wanted to make it a space that John could retreat to he's got two younger sisters which are probably going to drive him insane so I did want to give him a bit more space in his room and he can always mess around with girls in the wardrobe if he wants to so yeah I gave him a single bed in the end and I just put fill the walls with posters I tried to keep them as sciencey slash teenagery as possible because I feel like that would just suit John the most and he does have his desk there with his computer on his flashy computer so yeah I think he would really appreciate his bedroom <laughs> um I think it suits him really well obviously you guys won't know because he's in my current household so I don't film with this family but yeah it's still really cool I put a rug in this room as well just to fill up some floor space I actually block off the wardrobe with a not this this is the um element display rack which I put in there for him also a notice board in case he wants to put any notes for himself on there I take I block the wardrobe with a chemical al analyzer um so yeah you can't use the wardrobe while that's in the way but if we needed to for any reason use the wardrobe I'll just move the chemical analyzer um, out the way and then put it back once they've finished I just wanted him to have plenty of stuff that he could do in his room you know to, he can lock the door so only he can get in and it's just his space he's quite a shy sim so it's just a space for him to be away from 
from the world really <laughs> now i'm onto the girls bedroom the girls are going to share a bedroom because there is only one bedroom for them so they're going to have to share <laughs> but i mean you could if you if you wanted to you could work it into two bedrooms but they're both girls so i don't see too much of an issue this is from movie hangout it's so cute it's bright yellow i got it in the bright yellow color and it's just a wardrobe but it's so cute i love it i think i end up getting rid of one of the windows to make space for the wardrobe i just felt like it the room worked better that way i bring the baby up <laughs> um why not i need to make sure that she can fit in the room so yeah and now we've just got a desk in there as well for them and i just put a few clutter objects there's a bit of custom content there but custom content but at the end of the day they're not they're just decorative items they're not playable so you won't miss them if you download this house so it's not too much of an issue really i just put a whole bunch of toys in because the girls are obviously going to want loads of toys and i get a rug in there as well um to fill up some space put some things on the walls just make it a really really nice girly bedroom obviously heidi who is the girl the little girl in the household she is only just a child so she hasn't really grown into herself yet i'm sure she will want rid of the pink when she ages up but for the time being she enjoys pink <laughs> so that is the interior of the house done i now move on to landscaping and i put a whole bunch of plants outside i wanted the garden to be full to the brim with flowers which it turns out to be i think it's so cute i also color the walls in ivy you guys if you if you have been watching my channel for a while you will know that i love ivy on builds and i was so happy when get together brought ivy back into our lives because since the sims 3 we hadn't had it and i was not feeling too impressed so i do cover the walls in ivy and i really like the effect that it has i think it's really really awesome and i also put flower boxes on all the windows which you guys know i do in pretty much all my builds i just oh, i think it's so cute i love flower boxes i don't have them in my house but my neighbors across the street do and they are so cute <laughs> i love them so i do put a whole bunch of flower boxes on the windows and i decide to um block off the garden with a white picket fence i'm not sure when i get there but i do soon i think and i feel like it's easy if i block off what i want to be the actual garden with a white picket fence or any fence it just makes my life easier i feel like sometimes the the lots can be bigger than what i really need them to be then they're quite big so yeah i do block it off with a picket fence i think i do it now oh there we go i put it on there yeah i do put a place for a rocket in the back garden just because like i said i am building this for my current household and john really wants to build a rocket he's so he's a genius and he just yeah he a genius and a nerd and a whiz kid and he just wants to build a rocket so i did get that for him so that we can start working on that and um, when i play my current household and yeah i think it's really cool i also put a monkey bars for the kids to play on the baby will grow up soon so the two little girls can play together um on the monkey bars and we've got a barbecue and a um a picnic table so the family can sit outside and they can watch the kids play and watch john work on his rocket so yeah i think it's gonna be really really awesome for them so yeah i'm just working on the landscaping i hope i'm not saying so yeah too much in this build i feel like i've said it a lot <laughs> oh and i need to mention really quick as well for those of you guys asking where the burrow part two is that is going to come next sunday it was supposed to go up today but i wanted to get this build up first so that is all filmed and prepped and scheduled to go up next sunday because i tend to reserve my build videos for sundays so yeah um, I don't I don't have a schedule on this channel but I do I do tend to put build videos up on Sunday so I'm gonna save that for next Sunday and let me just say guys that build not the build itself the build was really really good but the furnishing of the burrow really really took me hours and hours I mean I'll explain it more in that video but that was hard work furnishing that house so hopefully you guys like it because it it definitely definitely took a long time <laughs> so i'm just doing some terrain painting you know making 
the area is a little bit more worn where people are going to stand and whatnot. Of course, adding more flowers, more and more flowers. This house is covered and covered in flowers, but I think it's cute and I like it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think it's really pretty and that is it for this house. I think I just do a quick once over to make sure I haven't got anything. I realise that I haven't put a bin in the house. Now I never do put a bin in the house. I put an outdoor bin and that's it. I don't find that my sins need an indoor bin. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't find that a concern. But if you want a bin, you can put one inside um, if you wish. And I just do a once over of the house. I noticed that some of the flowers from the front garden are poking through into the front room. I do get rid of those, so don't worry. Um, I take I took some screenshots, and you'll see them at the end of this video. You'll see that the flowers that are poking through the wall are gone. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this build, and if Jen sees this video, I hope that she enjoys it too. Um, and now we're moving on to screenshots of the home. It's so cute. I can't believe the house itself is adorable so so adorable so i just go through a few screenshots now i hope you guys like the renovation of this house i am going to sign off now and uh, let you guys enjoy the rest of the screenshots i hope you have enjoyed this video like i said i hope you're not too disappointed that the borough build isn't going to be up till next sunday and i'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from with that I hope you can anyway so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I hope you're all doing well please comment down below and let me know how you're doing I love hearing from you guys it's the main reason why I film these videos I want to interact with you so please do comment and um, I, I would really really appreciate it and I will reply to you I reply to everyone I make sure that I reply to everyone so please comment I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better follow me on Twitter I have a Twitter account now and it's linked in the description box down below so it would be awesome if you guys could follow me on Twitter because I really want to start using that more um yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content and I will see you very very soon but until next time guys take care and I will see you then bye for now